Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today, as promised, I hinted to, about this a few weeks ago when I reviewed the Adventura Royal Return Queen's uh, Pearls in the Robusto. And I, I commented that I thought the Corona may have better flavors. Well, we're going to look at the Corona today. I decided to go ahead and get it, and we're going to review it. 6 by 44. There's the density. Everything you need to know about this cigar is on the blog. Uh, the um, uh, it's a, a definitely a Connecticut shade, and what we wanted to see is how it compares. If it's better, the same, or not as good as the robusto. That's our benchmark. We've done the robusto. So let's get right to it. The Adventura Royal Return Queen's Pearls Corona. You know, it is a Connecticut wrapper, and I think I might have said mentioned this uh, when I did the Robusto, but with that white band and basically the color of the gold in there is the same color as the cigar. It makes the cigar look even lighter. It just, the band... Uh, Play, it, it plays off the band. It just looks light. And it is light. I mean, it's a Connecticut shade. Okay, good draw. All right. So let's see how it, how it goes. Well, that's a good draw. Good start. Tangerine citrus cedar brown sugar combination. There's a little bit of citrus peel, decent amount of sweet cream, white pepper at about seven to seven and a half. So that's how you start. A little bit of a nutmeg flavor in there too, but uh, uh, all right, let's say let's say nutmeg. But predominantly, it's like a tangerine, citrus, cedar, brown sugar, cream. Those are your main notes. And then that white pepper. And we'll see if we develop anything other than that for a base. That's how you start. Here we are at the first third. And the cigar is pretty tasty. It's still got those tangerine-like flavors, brown sugar. The, the cream is very sweet. It's almost, it may develop into a uh, white chocolate, but it's quite sweet. The white pepper is still good. There is a little bit of a black coffee base. It's kind of an earthy black coffee base. So, um, but... The cigar is uh, medium body. The finish has some of the citrus, actually a little cream. A little citrus peel, primarily it's the citrus and cream. And pretty good lingering white pepper, we'll say. But the first third is pretty good. It's, uh, it's, it's quite sweet. It's quite sweet. I'm rating it 93 to start with, and I don't know that it's going to hold that because I've had several. Uh, this is the fourth one. But we've got, to, we've got to see. We've got to see. Connecticut's are a funny animal with me. You've got to go so slow or else it gets really bitter. Connecticut wrappers, for some reason, get really bitter if you go too fast. So let's just keep it going slow, and let's see how the second third pans out. the second third right at the band that band's not going to burn because it's sort of metallic 
I'll have to take it off. But right now, let's talk about the cigar. It's um, still have your like tangerine, like sweet sweetness, brown sugar. It's getting close to a white chocolate flavor. Um, let's see here. Okay, there's your band. It's getting very close to a white chocolate flavor. The pep, the white pepper, is still very good. Oh, you, I think I would say it is white chocolate now. It's sweet enough that we can call it white chocolate. And there's a light black coffee base. Still meat, um, medium bodied. Finish is sort of citrus. I, I don't think it's changed. Um, has some sweetness to it, citrus, citrus peel, some sweetness, and a, and a nice amount of lingering white pepper. I think I will hold the score for this section of 93. It's, it's, it's so sweet, and you got to go so slow. I mean, at this point, I'm 45 minutes into this little bitty thin ring cigar. If you think you're going slow enough with a Connecticut, go slower. That's the only problem with them. You have to go so slow. But you will get nice flavors if you go stupidly slow. So it's 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 just fine right now. Let's see how the final third pans out. Down to the end. So let's wrap it up. The sharp uh, tangerine citrus is not as sharp right now. But the cigar is still very sweet. I don't really think it's a white chocolate anymore. It's more of a cream. It, the, the white chocolate occurs in the middle section. It's a sweet cream. There's black coffee. There's uh, brown sugar. There's... Most of the flavor notes are there. It's just not that sharp tangerine sweetness. It's more of a cedar brown sugar now. There is some citrus there, but you, just, you give it a lot of brown sugar. Medium to full. It finally got to medium to full. I think the finish is basically unchanged, but it's more of a citrus brown sugar. So, so a little bit of nutmeg. An improved lingering white pepper. This is a little better cigar than the Robusto, and I thought it would be. Even though it's very close with me. Final third, I could go 92 or 93. It's still very sweet. I'm going to hold 93. I think it is worthy of that, although personally I don't gravitate toward Connecticut cigars, but this is a very sweet one. And you still have the citrus, predominantly it's brown sugar now, cedar, black coffee, cream, nice notes there. So your overall score is going to be 93. It is a good, very small ring. What was it? 44? 6 by 44? It's, just, it's, it's a good cigar. And because of the smaller ring, you get a lot more sweetness. The uh, Robusto, I had to look back because I don't retain all this information in my head. 9167. So the Corona is a point and a little better, better, a better cigar. So there you have it. The Adventura Royal Return Queen's Pearls Corona 93.